Hello everyone, it's Evie Mays back again after a long, long hiatus. I am so sorry, I needed some personal time, so I hope you guys can forgive me for being away for so long. And um, I'm back again to give you a new reading. Um, to be honest, this is not gonna be like based on love or whatever, it's just gonna be a reading. So it's whatever spirit wants you to hear. I to pick a card, of course. Um, in a few moments, I'm gonna have you pick um, from one of four decks of cards that um, you could choose uh, through, uh, oh my God, different groups, four different groups. You'll just choose one and then we'll go from there and see what Spirit wants to tell you. I also have a new deck. I hope you guys don't mind, it's an erotic deck. So it's a little dirty. Um, it has like nasty, dirty pictures on it. <laughs> I love it because I'm a dirty girl. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, yes, uh, we're going to be featuring that too. So it'll be about, it'll basically be about everything. And it's going to be about, um, love, money, everything. So we'll see what comes through. Remember, it's a very, it's a, it's a, it is a general reading. So it's not going to be, you know, specifically for one person. I am going to get different messages for different people. So, um, yeah, I know the garb is a little fancy today, but I, you know, figure I dress up for you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, go ahead, pick your car, your group, and we'll get started. Okay, guys, now that you've chosen your cards, now that you've chosen your group, so let's get started on group one. So let's see, like, the general read for the next, let's say, few weeks. What is the general read for the next few weeks? I mean, keep in mind that this is a general reading and this is timeless, so we're gonna talk in terms of the next few weeks from when you watch this video. So let's see, what is coming within the next few weeks for group one? Six of Swords, or Six of Spades. Six of Spades. Five of Clubs. like getting up in these heels all right so <clears throat> the six of swords six of spades here um with the general when i just use the bicycle cards i swear like i feel like uh the six of swords is like basically somebody has it in their mind to tell you how they feel um it usually has to do with somebody that you are in love with or somebody that uh promotes feelings of love in you um, vice versa, you know, um, to me, anyway, that's how I read this, um, because six is a very, like, loving number. It could also mean, sometimes when I see six, it means, a uh, reflection, so perhaps you need some self-love, and you really need to talk to yourself in a loving manner, um, but I'm, for group one, for some reason, I have a feeling that somebody is going to come in and tell you how they feel, and how, how, how they, I'm sorry, my cat's messing with me. Anyway, group one, I feel like somebody's going to come and tell you how they feel. I feel like somebody does love you. Um, within the next few weeks, somebody's going to let you know that they care. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be familial. It can be friend. But um, I have a feeling somebody's going to let you know how much they care through words. Um, that's general. The five of clubs... Usually the five of wands means like a lot of competition. I can see that... There must be something going on in your life in which you are, you know, an adversary. You do have some competition going on. 
however you are in a part you are in a part of your life where you are the joker you can go anywhere from here it's kind of like the fool card in like my general bicycle cards things whenever i read it like this i look at this as zero so this is basically you can go anywhere from here you know um this is basically choose your own path um if you will it you want it you like it you got it no, I'm just, <laughs> um i don't even know why that came up but perhaps you like ariana grande too and i love her um but yeah, that's what I'm reading from that. Um, the Law of Attraction deck, we'll, we'll use that next for group one and see what you're manifesting into your life. What is group one manifesting into their life right now? What is group one manifesting into their life right now? What is group one manifesting into their lives right now? Let me just table that a little bit so I can put the feet. feeling that something is going to go your way. I feel like let's get more cards actually to clarify the judgment. What is what is group one manifesting? What is the major manifest within the next few weeks? Hmm. True card. Major manifests. Major manifest for group one for the next few weeks. Okie dokie. That works. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Judgment card. Um, Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Judgment, my special truth card. Since I always use everything, I utilize everything. I'm a utilitarian. Um, and then you have the King of Swords. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Group 1 is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they're involved with a lot of air signs around them. Um, I kind of have a feeling that if there was a stalemate, like you are indecisive about something, a decision's gonna be made in your favor, all right, with the Judgment card. This indecision, the Two of Swords, um, may have gone on for quite a while because the seven of pentacles to me means like, you know, I feel like this was time waited. This is time that you took out like a lot of time to work on getting a favorable, I'm hearing position for some people, perhaps some people, they, um, they were looking for a, like a, a what is it called when you, um, move up in status at, at your job you know you get a promotion you know basically I feel like some people got a promotion or they uh maybe they made more money if they work for their own business um but yeah I feel like something or if it's in romance I feel like uh something's actually gonna go in your favor I feel like uh there was some sort of indecision on the other party's part on the other party's in the other parties, basically, like, they, they had some sort of indecision that they were trying to make, and it's going to be in your favor, so you don't have to worry about that. I do feel like this other party could be a male, but it could be a very masculine female. Um, this person emulates the King of Swords, okay? So if it's, a, like, a romantic reading, it's probably a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay? If not one of those signs, it probably has the signs in the chart. And if not inside the chart, then I feel like this person just has very airy qualities to them. Um, I do feel like this person was indecisive about something for the longest time. Um, maybe they had cho they had a choice between you and somebody else, and they chose you. And now they can't stop thinking about you, or they want to come back. But I know that judgment is on your side because it came out right side up. In fact, all these cards came out right side up, so that's great. But that's what I feel is coming through the Law of Attraction deck. Now, let's see what guidance I can give you with the Good Tarot. Ooh. Well done. Spirit of 
Bureau tells me to read these because they just came out like that. I do have a feeling with the King of Fire in reverse, you might be a fire sign. If not, you are a very fiery person. Um, I feel like your heart chakra is turned off right now. I feel like if it's not turned off, it's like a, it's probably a little scarred. I feel like your heart is very closed off right now. I feel like you're very guarded. I keep on hearing playing it safe. I have a feeling that group one is playing it safe with their heart right now. Um, whether it's getting their hopes up with a new job or a promotion or they're playing it safe with romance. But I know that I have a feeling that you're playing it safe. However, it's saying that you have these emperor qualities very strong in you right now. So it's saying use them to your best ability because you do have if you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. You have very strong imperial qualities. To me, the emperor is all of masculine facets of the mind. You know what I'm saying? We all have masculine, female, and male traits. You know, we have feminine and masculine traits. So I feel like with this emperor, it's telling you to pull upon the parts of yourself that are very, um, basically fiery. Like you need to pull up like your your king of your king of wands energy okay you need that um that verb that uh aggression that um i feel like you need to be more outspoken you need to just basically release yourself from um being so confined in your mind because you also have the nine of air here which is like the sleepless nights card and the good tarot means you have to liberate yourself from all these thoughts that you're not good enough and all these thoughts that oh man everything i do turns out horrible or every time i get into a relationship i just sure know how to pick them they're just not good for me and that's that and i'm never gonna date again or Every time I try to get a promotion, it's just never going to work because I just, I'm just not good enough or anything like that. It's saying don't think like that because you are good enough for that relationship. You're good enough for that promotion. You're good enough for anything you put your mind to. And if you don't feel like something's right, don't go with it. If you have a new job, and I'm not trying to get you, like, you know, I'm not trying to get you in trouble with your life. So I'm going to put it this way. If you have a new job or you didn't get the promotion that you wanted and you feel like you've been working at this job for years and you haven't moved up or anything, perhaps it's time to take your leave and choose another path in life. Perhaps that path has grown stagnant for you and you need to move on somewhere else. This is the liberation card in this deck. So I feel like you have to liberate yourself from your, your um, mental confines, your or mental prison okay um it's saying the hermit card so perhaps you do have you do have the okay when it comes to kind of going into your side your into yourself and like getting some more introspection about your your situation i feel like you need a lot of introspection however i don't feel like you need to be guarded anymore because i feel like there is a strength inside of you that not even you know that you have and I feel like you'll be able to use it once you need to use it if that makes any sense I feel like you probably don't know that you have it but once you need it it will be there do you understand um that's what I'm getting from the good tarot that's the guidance that I'm getting again the emperor fell on the floor upside down this time so I feel like that means like you're not utilizing um, your strengths and I feel like you need to you need to utilize your masculine energies so let's pull out some cards with uh, I'm gonna call these my white cat tarot general we'll say finances let's see what the finances are like okay so nine of cups great abundance <clears throat> I feel like you are happy in the position or the job that you're in or whatever and i see the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is very slow moving i do see that you are going to in fact make a lot of money in your position wherever you are at when it comes to work or finances in general is it's it's just gonna go your way it's gonna go your way you're gonna be very happy you're financially abundant because the nine of cups means you're emotionally abundant about your finances it's like there i feel like finances is not really a problem for group one 
um, with the Ace of Swords, I do feel like whoever was watching this, for some reason, I keep on getting promotion, promotion, promotion. I feel like you are going to get a promotion soon or a pay raise. I feel like something good is going to happen when it comes to your career. I do feel like you are going to need some rest. Maybe you're going to need to take vacation from your job or a vacation from dealing with your finances so much or if you're very frugal and you like to scrimp and save i feel like right now is a time to just let loose you know enjoy yourself i feel like you need a little bit of enjoyment in your life and um basically i feel like you um you just need to enjoy yourself this is a time where you're going up you have the ace of swords that you have a new opportunity by word of mouth i have a feeling um somebody's thinking of giving you a new opportunity you are on the knight of pentacles path so something's coming you are very happy with this nine of cups abundance you know and then this four of swords is the only one that i feel like is more of a negative aspect of life but it's not really that negative it's just talking about respite you need some rest you need some relaxation so i feel like you just need some um you just need some time to enjoy yourself a little bit i feel like you've been working yourself burning the midnight oil working yourself to the bone you know but the three of wands at the bottom of the deck also means to me that um you are gucci man like you are so good like you're about to set out on new adventures and you are ready you know what i'm saying so your finances are looking e extremely amazing right now group one um i really love what i'm getting with this this group so let's get to <laughs> the manara erotic tarot this is going to be like the romance read um we'll see what's happening with romance for you and then we'll choose a romance angel card to go with it so let's see <laughs> Ooh, that just flew out the deck i'm getting pick the top card and we'll put the rest in there and see what's going on so okay nice all right okay getting some good cards for group one okay i can't even all right oh my goodness oh my goodness all right so <laughs> i'm gonna pick one more card i get because i really love group one okay oh this is such a cute group like i can't even all right so we're gonna choose the angel card and then i'm gonna get to to your uh romance part all right, I'm gonna finish it. What is coming for group one romance angels? Tell me. Oh. Nice. Actually, this came off upside down. I feel like this just keeps on saying at the bottom. All right, so. All right. <laughs> All right. So, the first card to come out was the Queen of Air. So, I feel like you might be the air sign, okay? I feel like you might be the Libra, the Gemini, the Aquarius. Um, if not, then you have a very feminine figure. It doesn't mean you have to be the female or the male. It doesn't matter to me. But I feel like the, the, the divine feminine, the, the, the runner, basically, because I feel like whatever i'm not gonna say the runner or the chaser because i think it's just stupid because we all run and chase each other i feel like the person who is like kind of like running away is the divine feminine not running away per se but you're kind of guarded right now your heart's a little closed off you're scared to love you know i feel like this person has hurt you in the past because you also have the reconciliation so i feel like this might be a partner from your past okay um if you're asking about a partner from your past I'm pretty sure it's either that person you're thinking of, or if not that person, it's somebody else you really loved from your past, okay? Um, somebody's coming back, because you have the reconciliation card. Um, then you have children in reverse, so I kind of feel like this just means that this person either grew up, you know, or they want children with you. I feel like this person might have left you when they were, like, very childlike, but now they're an adult, you know? They're not a child anymore but that's only for some of you and i feel like for others of you i feel like this person has 
like the intent to get back with you and have a baby. I feel like this person wants to either get you pregnant or get pregnant or adopt or whatever that is, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm transitioning into a woman, so obviously I know that adoption is there and all this other crazy stuff and vitro fertilization and surrogacy, whatever. This person wants children with you, for some of you. Um, I also see healing family issues. So I feel like perhaps this person probably had some family issues that they had to heal first before they came back to you. Um, maybe their mom didn't like you or their dad didn't like you or something like that. And um, perhaps it was just the other way around. It doesn't matter. But I feel like some sort of family issues were standing in the way of your union. And that's what I'm getting from spirit. Um, queen of air. I feel like this person sees you as the queen of air. You know, they see you as very um, free. I always feel like the queen of air is very complex. She's very perceptive. She's very outspoken. She's very free spirited. She's very artistic. She's she's just really she's she's just that person that you look at and they're like, oh my god, complete mystery. Like Falsey, she's a Libra. She's she's a Libra and I, I love her energy. <clears throat> I feel like they see you like a Halsey type figure, you know? Um Yeah, she's just she's very sexy. As you can see, she has her little her butt out and everything. She's just very sexy. Now this person, when they're coming back, this is the Hierophant. This person wants marriage. It says the priest in this deck, okay? They want marriage with you, if you can see that card. Um, they, you also have the lovers, so they made a choice to be with you, okay? This person wants to reconcile and be with you. I have a feeling this person could be a fire sign or have very fiery qualities to them. So Aries, um, Aries Leo, or Sagittarius, or they could have that in their chart, or they just have very fiery characteristics to them. But this person is coming out as the king of fire, and they're just very creative. This person's kind of, they probably were a player back in the day, you know what I'm saying? They probably were very playful. They are very, very playful. Fire signs are very playful. I should know, I'm a Sagittarius. But, um, I feel like this person is a very creative, very fiery, very passionate, very spontaneous, impulsive person. But now they want to settle down with their queen of air. If you think about how air and fire go together, if you put oxygen over a fire, it makes the fire explode even louder. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you are lighting their fire. You are the, the oxygen to their fire and you're just giving them more breath. You know what I'm saying? You're just making them stronger and they see that so they love you um i also feel like this person they want to come back and they want to save you they want to save you and this this five this five of cups in this deck shows a man saving a woman from drowning so i feel like this man this or woman wants to come back and save you they feel like perhaps you're not doing so bad on your own but they kind of want to be like your knight in shining arm that's what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm getting for the romance and everything else with group one. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did enjoy your reading, please click the little wiggly bell icon so you can get future notifications about my readings, which I don't know when I'll give them, but I, I try, I'll try to do them a lot more often now. Darn it, with my, my cat's fur all over the place right now. Um, but uh, yeah. So that was your reading group one. Please like and subscribe if you did like my reading. And namaste, I wish you nothing but the best. I'm taking off these heels now, group two, because they're killing my feet. They are so cute, but they are so uncomfortable, says the transgender woman. <laughs> my feet are numb. I'm taking them off. Ow. I'm so sorry, BB. Like my little kitty. All right, group two. Let us get started, group two. So, we're gonna start with the general read, group two. So let's see, what is the general read for the next few weeks? We have the three of hearts. Cool. It's the three of cups. Very creative love. I feel like you're looking for love. I feel like you're getting creative too. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
Excuse me, my cat is being crazy. <laughs> Get away from there. Let me wear my hobo slippers. <laughs> my apologies. Big change from the high heels, everybody. Don't mind them too much. But yeah, um, you have the three of cups. Three of cups. Um, three of cups. What else? What else? General read. Perfect. That one just wants to get right first. Okay. Two of swords. I feel like you are at an indecision. Like you are at an indecisive moment in your life. You have a choice to make. Um, I have a feeling that this choice has to do with love, all right? I have a feeling that it has to, it's a very an emotional choice. It doesn't have to be romance, but it has to be like a love choice. Like perhaps you're thinking whether or not you should keep a friend in your life or not, or you should heal family issues or not, or I have a feeling that you have some sort of a very emotional choice that you have to make. And it's saying that's gonna come to the forefront within the next few weeks. With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like I feel like reflection is needed with your finances. Um, six is a good number when it comes to like cups or wands, I feel like. But I feel like with the pentacles or diamonds in this case, it's more of like a reflective number where you have to kind of, I'm getting the, fa I'm getting the feeling that you have to really reflect on your finances and perhaps you're going through not a financial crisis or financial issues, but you're kind of like struggling a little bit and you're not knowing where to go next. And it's saying that's also gonna to come to a forefront with the next few weeks. So that's what I'm seeing with the general, the general numbers reading. And um, let's see what you are manifesting into your life as of now. What is group two manifesting into their lives? Okay, yes, okay say less let's get two more cards for what you are manifesting into your life okay mm -hmm. what is group two manifesting Jeez. all right well it looks like i have to read all these cards because that's what spirit's telling me to do um so let's get these ordered up and we'll get started Okay, so group two, I'm gonna be honest with you. It looks like you're gonna go through a tumultuous time. However, I feel like there's a new beginning when it comes to emotions. When it comes to happy emotions, you have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Chalices, so new love, a new start with emotional, some sort of like an emotional backing to it, okay? Um, you're finally seeing the light to the end of the tunnel. You're probably going through a very difficult decision with people right now. I feel like um, you've kind of felt maybe closed off from a person or somebody felt closed off from you and you couldn't see any end to the, the issue. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't see any end to the drama. And now it's finally coming to the forefront and it's gonna end. It's coming to a, a, a sweet, bittersweet I'm hearing a bittersweet end I feel like um you finally see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's time it's time for you to actually get something out of this this situation it's time for you to heal you know um I do see that you're very anxious right now I have a feeling you're very anxious and you're probably uh allowing yourself to smoke a little bit extra more cigarettes smoke a little bit more weed drink a little bit more than you're used to um this is kind of like my lesser devil card, I want to say, in this deck. So I feel like you're manifesting a little bit of a bad habit into your life because of your anxiety. I feel like you're very anxious right now, and you're not really sure how to deal with it. So I feel like you have to concentrate on fixing that, okay? However, I do see that you are manifesting abundance into your life because you have the nine of chalices. To me, that's a very happy, abundant card, you know? It's a very, it's not the 10 of chalices, but it's almost the 10 of chalices. So you're right there, you're at the end. You're almost at 10 of chalices. You're almost at full, complete happiness. You just have a little extra to go, that's it. Um, however, I do see that your finances are kind of going a little down or going a little bit of haywire. Um, I have a feeling this is due to miscommunications or problems in your work 
life. I feel like some of you have a problem with your work life, your boss, or maybe you were dating the secretary. It doesn't matter, but I feel like there's some decisions you have to make regarding your career or your money or your finances that are really tough right now and perhaps they, they feel like something you don't want to do but you have to deal with them. Um, I also see the burnout card. The seven, of, the seven of Wands in this deck is like the burnout card. It's like, man, I'm doing all this work but for what? Am I, am I really benefiting from it? Um, all this hard work for nothing. It kind of feels like, oh, I just keep on going and going and going. You're, you're burning yourself out so you kind of have to change that dynamic, okay? However, I do see the Hope Faith Rejuvenation card, the star. So this is amazing. So this means like um, throughout all of this, even though you're manifesting all this crazy stuff, the fact that I'm telling you this is giving you a heads up. You could change it. You could fix it, okay? So manifest the star. Have hope. Have faith, you know? Things will change and get, get better, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for the manifestation part of your reading. Let us see the good tarot. Good tarot, what can group two get when it comes to guidance? I need some guidance for group two. Good tarot. Good tarot. A lot of air. Okay. Nice happy single person card okay I'm, I'm getting that's all i need for you guys the queen of air she's a very complex perceptive and um she's a very cut through the bullshit type of person i feel like whenever i get the guidance cards i feel like this is what you need to embody you need to emulate the queen of air energy you need to have these queen of air kind of like um properties to yourself you have to have this type of dy dynamic in your life you have to tell people how you feel not sugarcoat shit for anybody um be honest with yourself and others this is just calling you to be more perceptive analytical tactful and honest with others okay i have a feeling i keep on getting in the back of my head that group two is have a feeling i have a feeling that you guys are having a problem being blunt and honest with other people because you feel like you're gonna hurt their feelings or something like that Fuck their feelings. When it comes to the game of life, you have to work for yourself first and then get to the people you can help. You can't help everybody. If somebody's not doing, if I have a feeling that this is for just a few of you who are at work right now, you, I feel like you're the boss and you have a few employees that are under you that are not doing their job correctly and you're basically wasting your money on them because they're not doing their jobs all right i have a feeling that they either need to get fired or put in their place and you're not doing it and that needs to happen all right but that's for a very a very few of you i don't know who else is watching this but i have a feeling like somebody in your work environment is pissing you off and you're not able to tell them because you're a good person you're a nice person but you need to cut that crap out and be the queen of air that's how true it is you need to be the queen of air and you need to tell this person, come on, ship shape or ship out, you know? Like, uh, you have to fix that. Fix it, fix it. The seven of air. Yeah, again, somebody has, like, the upper hand over you. They're kind of, like, they're keeping you here sitting there on a, on a ledge, sewing. You're like, God, how do I deal with this? I don't want to deal with this. And I feel like you just keep on putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Don't put it off any longer. You put it off any longer and you're just going to be miserable. So don't be miserable for this person for the sake of this person's happiness. That's not right. You shouldn't be miserable because somebody else is happy. All right? It should be the other way around. They should be miserable because they're not doing what they could to make you happy. However, I do see with the rest of your life, you're a very happy single person. I have a feeling that this group is, um, all in all, you're very financially comfortable. Although, I do see that your finances are a little bit, eh, not as good as they usually are, okay? So, I feel like you have to work on that. That's the guidance that I have for group two. Let us get to financial, financial reading. Financial reading for group two. Ooh. Okay, I read that for the last group, so let's this. Financial 
spiritual guidance for group two, please, spirit. Financial guidance for group two. Okay. So financial guidance. I'm seeing that you guys have a lot of choices and options at this moment, but not all that glitters is gold. So not every option that you have to choose from is going to lead you to financial riches. It's probably gonna lead you downhill, okay? So you have to make the right decisions. Right now is definitely the time to be that queen of air energy. You definitely need to be very perceptive, analytical, and tactful. I keep on hearing those words. Perceptive, analytical, and tactful with your decisions. Because I feel like this group is having a very hard time making the right decisions. I feel like you probably feel like that too. I feel like you probably feel like, oh man, I keep on making the wrong decisions. What the hell is going on? Why is this happening? It's pissing me off. You're able to make the right decisions. You just have to really sit down and think about it. I'm hearing some of you might have to meditate a little bit on the decisions that you have to make. Um, <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles. You might be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, what is the other earth sign? Taurus. <laughs> Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Um, if not, then I'm feeling that there's going to be a person who comes into your life who is very down to earth or has an earth sign in them or in some part of their chart or emulates earth sign energies. Um, it's going to be a very compassionate, kind, and caring person, um, but they're also going to be very materialistically inclined to be able to help you. I, don't, I, I feel like this person is going to be somebody who comes into your life to help you a little bit. And you need to listen to this person because they're not going to guide you down the wrong path, okay? Look out for those earth signs. I have a feeling that this earth sign is going to help you. Listen to what they have to say. You might not always want to listen to people, but I feel like this person, you might have to listen to them because they're going to help you out in a big way. You also got the Ace of Swords, all right? Um, it came out reverse, so I feel like <clears throat> this there might have been a new opportunity that you want it to come very soon, but I don't feel like it's gonna come anytime soon. I'm not feeling like it's gonna come anytime soon. I feel like that's a long, it's, it's gonna be a way away before that actual opportunity comes to fruition. However, I do feel like even though that opportunity might not come as soon as you want, there's gonna be other opportunities that will come, smaller opportunities that you will be able to utilize, okay? Um, with the Hierophant card, this is like my learning card. I have a feeling you have to learn from somebody. I feel like you need advice for your finances because they're gonna go all out of whack if you don't get advice from the right people. So look for those earth signs, man. Virgos, Capricorns, and Tauruses. Especially Tauruses and Virgos. They know where it's at, man. I mean, Capricorns, they're great, but Tauruses, and I'm not saying anything bad about Capricorns, so all my Capricorns out there, I have nothing against you guys, although my ex really fucked Capricorns up for me. That's just him. I have a lot of friends who are Capricorns, they're amazing, but I have a feeling that you're gonna need some advice from an Earth sign, and you're gonna have to utilize it. This is like the teacher card, and you need to learn from this person, okay? So that's what I'm getting for finances. Now, let's go to the Minara Erotic Tarot and love the angel, <laughs> the, the romance angels tarot. So what's coming in love for group two? Can I see what is coming in love for group two? Nice, okay. Already you have the star card, <clears throat> the six of earth. Okay, let's see what else. King of Earth, okay. We get more cards for the romance section of group two's reading, please. Ten of Earth, you guys have a lot of Earth signs coming in. I have a feeling this person, this Earth sign that's gonna come in and give you some advice, 
is also going to be a very good love partner. I have a feeling that this person might fulfill both duties. Queen of Fire. Okay. And that's all she wrote. That one last card. This one doesn't want to go in. I have a feeling you have a very long reading. I might as well just go with it. Alright? So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's choose some Romance Angel cards for you and see what's going to happen here. It's coming in Romance for Group 2. Just one card, please, Spirit. <laughs> Gonna give me all these cards for you guys. Oh my Jesus. Alright. Group two. Romance angels. Past life relationships. So I feel like this is soulmate. Or somebody you know in the past. Um. Whoa. Separation in reverse. I feel like this person might have gone, but now they're coming back. So kind of like reconciliation. That just came out. Alert. Perhaps you thought about separating from this person, but that's not the greatest idea. You shouldn't. <clears throat> Those are a couple of things I'm getting. You got the flirt card. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. Past life relationship. You have known each other before, either in this life or the next. Or the last, I rather. Okay. So you have the star again, all right? And this one is called the stars. To me, this talks about having hope and faith in in relationships in general. It's kind of like it's calling you to have trust in the universe to lead you the right way when it comes to love and romance, okay? I see that you have the Six of Earth here. So to me, the Six of Earth is kind of... Start trying to feel yourself a little bit right now. I feel like you have to feel sexy within yourself before you can be sexy for anybody else, Okay? Um, this person, as you can see, kind of looks like Rihanna. This is my Rihanna card. I always call it my Rihanna card. It looks like Rihanna in a French maid's outfit. And she's kind of feeling herself. She's in her house. She's doing whatever she wants to do by herself. She's happy and she's feeling sexy for herself. I feel like you guys have to just feel a little sexy for yourself, you know? Um, that's what I'm getting from that card. The King of Earth. I have a feeling that there's going to be an Earth sign that's coming towards you. Um, this Earth sign is going to come towards you. And they want to make you their pet, kind of. I feel like it's going to be like they want you to be like the submissive role almost. And they want to treat you like their dirty little girl. Or a dirty little boy, I guess you could say. Um, you also have the Ten of Earth. I feel like this person sees you in a way that you're like... You're very financially stable. They like that. They like that you are a happy single person by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're very materialistically stable. All right, and they see that, and they want to. Hmm. This Queen of Fire card is a bit intense. They they like that you're so independent. The fact that you're independent makes them want to chase you a little bit more. You might be a fire sign. They might be an earth sign. Um, this person, I feel like this person would get off on seeing you play with yourself. And I'm not trying to be really disgusting or dirty right now, but <laughs> that's what I'm getting from spirit. This person wants to see you play with yourself because they feel like that would be very sexy. I feel like this person definitely wants to see you self-pleasure, okay? Because um, that's basically what's shown in this card. They see you as somebody who's very romantic, fiery, and passionate. <laughs> Gosh, this card is flying. But yeah, um, definitely, they definitely want to... Um, they're definitely thinking very sexy thoughts of you. I feel like this person definitely thinks you're sexy. Um, <clears throat> the six of fire in this deck means that, yeah, they want to come in and they want to play with you. They, they, And I'm not talking about Legos. I'm talking about they want to play with you. Like, they want to play with your body. They want to make you feel loved up. Like, they want to... Ba -da, boo -da, -da -da -da, boo -da. Yeah, my heart go fire and boot up. Do -de da da. It just don't stop. It goes. Oh, how many ways can I tell you I need you, baby? It's true. I think I might die without you. Feel it all over my body. You know how I like it. Ain't gotta tell you what to do. Okay. 
I don't know why that came out, but maybe that, that song has some sort of, sort of sig significance for you. Um, with the Four of Water, I have a feeling that this person's watching you, okay? I have a feeling this person's keeping close a close eye on you. They're keeping a tabs on you. I have a feeling like they're watching you from afar right now. Perhaps you were in separation and they want to come back out of separation, okay? So this might be a reconciliation of sorts. I feel like you guys maybe just recently separated or you guys have separated in the past and this person really wants to come back. Or if, it's, if you're thinking about separating from this person, I don't think you should do it. I feel like this person just wants to work it out with you, okay? Um, they're watching your Instagram. They're watching your Facebook. They're, they're on, on you like white on rice, all right? So that's what I'm getting for that. Um, yeah, you guys had a great reading group too. It's a little up and down, but whose life isn't up and down, okay? I hope this helped you. If you liked my reading, please like and subscribe or click the little wiggly bell icon and, you know, let me know that you love me in the comments section. Thank you so much, group two. I am going to use the restroom and I will be right back for group three. Give me one. All right, ladies and gents, I am back finally from the restroom. A little bit of wardrobe change because I had a bit of a malfunction there. Um, to be honest, I was just really uncomfortable. I had to get out of that. So I'm in my night clothes now. Um, let us move on to group three. Let's see what's going on, group three. Um, my purple nighty. <laughs> so let's see what's going on, group three. General read group three, two of pentacles. This person's juggling. Group three is juggling. What are you juggling? Let's see. Group three, what's group three juggling? Hmm. Hey! Could you stop, please? Stop being bad. Okay, so group three is juggling. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Get out of here. Such a little badass. Group three is juggling the King of Hearts and the Nine of Swords. All right, so you are, in the next few weeks, I have a feeling you're dealing with a water sign of some sort and they're kind of stressing you out, group three. This water sign could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, you're really trying to I feel like you're juggling finances and this person, and it's keeping you up at night. Nine of Swords. <laughs> this is like the, the restless, anxiety-stricken person. Sleepless nights and insomnia card, okay? <laughs> so, this could also be an end to that, or it's coming to an end soon. But I feel like you guys are dealing with with a lot of juggling right now between love, finances, career, friends, family. I feel like uh, within the next few weeks, it's gonna come to the forefront that you have to deal with all this struggling with the juggling. <laughs> hey, you guys can use that in the song if you want <laughs> for all my artists out there. Let us see what you guys are manifesting group three. What is group three manifesting into their lives? What is group three manifesting into our lives? The truth card. I know what this one's going out. Oh man. What are you manifesting into your life? Group three. Group three. What is manifesting for you? Group three. to come out. All right. Get two more cards. Group three. What's manifesting right now? <clears throat> okay. I need to hold the top card. All right, group three. So, be honest with you, group three. Hey, my buddy, what are you doing? My little stinky winky. Right now, 
I feel like you're manifesting some sort of blockage because this came out in reverse. It's the three of chalices. To be honest, this means like you're unlocking something within emotions. I feel like you're locking something up when it's in reverse. I feel like you're locking away your feelings for somebody somehow because I feel like you feel like the rival. And I feel like you keep on manifesting this rival type energy. When you choose to take yourself out of the equation and say, you know what, I'm not a choice, I'm not an option, I am the option, you know what I'm saying? I am the only one you should be thinking about. That's when this person will come looking at you. Um, I feel like this person's very, I don't know why I'm getting very romantic energies from group three, but I could be wrong. It could be like a, in a financial situation or institution, like a job, or maybe your boss is not looking at you like you're the top option. <clears throat> and once you take yourself out of the equation, be like, listen, this is what it is, and I'm the best option, I'm the only option. Um, if you don't like it and you want to be indecisive, then fine, I'm going to take myself out of the equation. Um, that's when this person's going to start looking back at you and start planting seeds for the future to grow with you, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I'm getting really a romantic vibes for group three, so I have a feeling that this is a romantic type situation where you're locking your... You need, you're going to lock your feelings away for this person because I feel like you or vice versa, this person have very strong feelings for one another. Like you can see that this is Cupid's arrow going through this heart right now. And I feel like Cupid's arrow hit one of you guys and maybe it's not unrequited love, but perhaps it's just a very um, tumultuous love with somebody who thinks that they have choices, all right? Or maybe you think you have choices and this person doesn't want to feel like they're just an option to you, okay? Um, but that's what I'm getting with the manifestation cards. Let's see what's coming up next. What are you doing, you stinky little bud? Um, let's pick a good tarot and see what's happening for guidance. How can I be of guidance to you guys? guidance can group three use there's one card <clears throat> two of earth <laughs> yeesh that's the second time you guys have gotten that okay you guys are really juggling eight of fire okay um the hanged man oh man i need at least one more card let me choose one more card crazy energy right now. It's like, oof. You guys are juggling. You are my juggler deck. Okay. So. You guys are juggling so many things at one time. You're spreading yourself so thin, but I feel like you have no choice because things are coming in so quickly for you with this Eight of Wands, which is like the Eight of Fire. I have a feeling that you kind of have to make some really quick decisions right now, and you're doing the best you can. And to me, I feel like Spirit is just letting you know that, yeah, it's difficult, yeah, you're juggling, and yeah, it's getting frustrating, but you have, by all means, the ability and capability to take this head on. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's a lot right now, you have the strength to go with it. You have the strength to go with the flow right now. I have a feeling, though, with this hanged man, you are trying to grasp onto control just a little bit too much. I have a feeling you have to let go of control with a few things. I have a feeling that you have to allow some things to just turn out the way they will. I have a feeling that you're trying to hold grasp onto control too tightly and that's when you start 
having things break in the wrong direction for you. I have a feeling that you have to let things go a little bit and allow them to take their own course. Allow, you know, life to take its own course for a little bit. Just a little, like, I have a feeling like if you leave it into fate's hands, fate will do you justice, okay? Um, <clears throat> even though you're juggling, I have a feeling like with the six of fire in reverse, you're not allowing yourself, even though you're grasping so much control, you're not moving too much. I have a feeling you're not moving in these situations too much. You're kind of like stagnant almost because you're so indecisive, because you're so, ooh, you're so dumbfounded by all the stuff that you have to juggle right now. It seems like there's so much on your shoulders right now. I'm not gonna lie to you, group three. I feel like you are the busiest group out of all the groups that I've had so far, which is three. So I have a feeling that spirit is just telling you, pick your chin up, push your chest out. You have all the capabilities, all the, the um, strength in the world to be able to take these, um, these opportunities and turn them into a, something that will be fruitful for you in the, 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 the future, all right? The da da. <laughs> but yeah, I have a feeling that you are juggling a lot. You do have the strength to deal with it. I just feel like you need these words of encouragement right now. You just need to have hope. You have to have faith. And you have to have the ability to allow fate take the wheel sometimes. I think that's all that. Uh, the guidance I need to give you. I have a feeling that group three is very capable. You're a very capable group, so there's not much left to say. Um, let's see what finances is looking like with group three. Group three's finances. All right, so this card definitely wants to come out. Group three's finances. You know, these readings always make me tired. Okay. Group three's finances. Again, with a hanged man, man. Definitely a finances thing. I have a feeling in the back of my mind it was like a finances thing for some reason. I feel like you're clinging on to control just a little bit too hard, group three, with the finances. I have a feeling you have to let go of control to allow things to fruitfully prosper. Alright, um, this card. <laughs> Again! Six of wands, six of fire in reverse. Holy crap, I knew that had to be the finances. Jeez, Louise. Oh, okay. Um, if this was a love reading, that would be awesome, but this is the financial part of your reading. Um, there is gonna be a new opportunity, or perhaps you already started on this new opportunity and it's it's starting to flourish okay it's a very fast going opportunity it's a very come easy come easy go kind of opportunity but the wheel of fortune is on your side so it's saying what goes up must go down what goes down must come up you know so you're on your way up but you just have to allow fate to take the wheel a little bit i have a feeling that this partner well, let me start with this. You got the Six of Wands in reverse again. Again! Okay, this is insane to me, Group 3. I have a feeling you're not making any really practical decisions because you're not sure which decision to make. You're allowing yourself to be too firm a control. You need to let go of control and allow fate to take the course a little bit or allow this partner of yours to help you out. I have a feeling like you, you're not letting this partner help you out, but you need to let this partner help you out or ask for somebody to help you out in the situation with your finances because if you are grasping onto control too much and you're not allowing yourself to be the hanged man energy, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're just gonna stay stuck where you're at at the beginning of this opportunity. Let it go. You need to let go of control and allow things to fall where they may, okay? So that's what I'm seeing where your finances. Let us go to the, my favorite part, the love and romance part of the reading. And use the dirty tarot, I like to call it. The Manara erotic tarot. Let's see what's going on in the love portion of group three. This reading. Can I get... Some love cards for group three. I know I saw this card. You have the sun. You have the 
sun card. Ooh, we have the knave of air. <clears throat> we have the six of air. You, you love it how I move you. You love it how I touch you, my one. When all is said and done, you believe God is a woman. And I feel it up to midnight, a feeling I just can't find my one. It lingers when we're done, you believe God is a woman. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you are the juggling group. You guys got the two of earth again. Again, for the third time, I'm crying. That's crazy to me. Pay attention to the red flags, true love. Say less. And this can't in reverse. Let your friends help you in reverse. Your friends are not gonna be able to help you in this one, all right? They're gonna lead you the wrong way. Don't listen to your friends. Don't even tell them about what you're dealing with when it comes to love. I have a feeling you might be juggling more than one partner because you have to pay attention to red flags. So perhaps one person is not good for you and the other person is your true love. Um, you're juggling. You're juggling way too much. Oh my God. Ah, my car. My car almost got burnt. Holy moly. But yeah, you're juggling too much. That just went to my handle. <laughs> So, you're juggling way too much. You need to let it go, honey. You're juggling way too much. And I think you're allowing it to happen. Um, the sun means to me happiness, abundance, a lot of energy. This is a very energetic time in your life. I feel like with the sun, you're flying towards the sun. You're, you're flying towards abundance. You're flying towards happiness. It's going to happen. It's going to happen eventually. Like the Wheel of Fortune said in your last financial reading, what goes down must come up, okay? <clears throat> You're going up. You were probably very down for a very long time. <clears throat> the knave of air. I have a feeling that there's a person in your life, either a male or female, who's very happy and ecstatic to be in your life. They want to deliver a message to you. Um, this person's listening to music and they're dancing, so probably in a very artistic way they want to deliver a message to you um this could be the lover the true love of your life or this could be the person you have to pay attention to the red flags about if it's just one person that you're dealing with um just make sure to call them out on their bullshit and maybe that's the red flags that you have to deal with perhaps this is your true love but they just have a lot of bullshit artistry that they're going that they put you through okay uh, don't allow the bullshit artistry to happen <laughs> Call them out on their bullshit. Make sure that this person, you have to think of the knave as a younger person, okay? It's not like, you know, the knight who's older or the king who's the oldest, the more mature, I should say, rather. This person's very immature. So you kind of have to call them out on their bullshit, but this is your true love. Um, they want to give you a message through word of mouth, through text message, through something like that, all right? Um, with the six of air, I feel like they're looking at you as if you are <clears throat> Ariana Grande in the God is a Woman video, okay? Like, the, if, you, if you could see this, they put you on a pedestal. This person, there's a woman who is sitting on top of <laughs> a literal galaxy. She's sitting on top of a galaxy and people are looking at her like, oh my God, who is that beautiful woman? You know what I'm saying? They're like, there's a bunch of men in suits walking towards her and looking up at the six of swords like oh my god who is that person although i do see there's a woman on the floor sitting down and she's thinking to herself she's like what is going on why maybe she's thinking oh well, these men are not giving me any attention <clears throat> or perhaps that's how you felt and now that you have all this attention from these men you're like geez what do i do with this i don't even want to look in the direction because i'm not sure what decision to make the juggler you are the juggler. Like I said, you're juggling way too much. I feel like you have so much on your plate right now. You're spreading yourself so thin. The world is at your feet. You can go, you can do no wrong because you have all the opportunities in the world right now. You can go anywhere you want to go. 
group three, it's just, it all depends on you. You have to let go of control with certain aspects of your life. I'm thinking finances, you have to let go of control a little bit. Perhaps you're an earth sign or an air sign or whatever sign you are. You need to let go of control issues with your finances and you need to rein in control with your love life because you're, that's a little, I feel like you're trying to juggle a little bit too much with your love life, but you're not giving yourself enough control over it. You're not giving yourself enough time over it. Um, do not let your friends help you because it came out in reverse because they're going to lead you the wrong way. Pay attention to the red flags. So call out people on their bullshit. If you don't see some, if you see something you don't like, or if one of the people you're dating is giving you the wrong vibe, don't just go with the flow. Cut it off. And you will find your true love. True love is coming. All right? Or you already met your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, group three? I hope you liked your reading. If you did, please like and subscribe. If not, then the hell with ya. <laughs> I don't have enough time to be kissing everybody's ass here. At the bottom of the deck, I just saw the ten of water. So you guys are going to be very, very emotionally abundant, group three. Okay? So that's amazing. Um... <clears throat> I have to say that uh, if you want to get notifications for future readings, you can click the little wiggly bell icon down below. I don't know where I, wherever it's at, <laughs> down below. And um, yeah, just have a wonderful night, wonderful day, wonderful morning, whatever, wonderful whatever, namaste, good luck to you, love, light, and blessings. Take care, group three. All right, <clears throat> finally, we are at group four. Let us get to Group 4's reading. Let's get the general feel of Group 4's reading. Let's gonna let's see what's gonna happen. All right, Spirit. Nice joke. Ha huh, ha. Huh, you're funny. I don't want that many cards. <laughs> That's way too many cards. There we go. Again with the three of hearts. Oh my goodness. All right. <clears throat> Spirit, if you could kindly just give me less cards, that would be nice. But I guess group four, group four has a lot of cards that they're dealing with. So let's see the general feel. So you have the three of hearts, which is the three of chalices. Then you have the three of, the three of uh, pentacles, which is the three of diamonds. You have the four of spades, which is the four of swords. You have the Queen of Diamonds, which is the Queen of Pentacles, and then you have the Queen of Spades, which is the Queen of Swords. So, you could be a, an air, you could be an air sign, or you can be an earth sign. So Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo, or you could be air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, three of Hearts. I have a feeling that this is a time where you're gonna be very prosperous and creative with your friends and a lot of acquaintances in your life. You're gonna have a lot of fun right now. This is gonna be a very fun period in your life, group four. Um, a lot of things, opportunities, I also feel are gonna come into your life. With the three of pentacles, I have a feeling that there's gonna be a lot of charitable people in your life as well, I'm getting. Three. You're gonna be very. Um, you're gonna. You're gonna get a lot of opportunities through your artistic endeavors as well. So music or art and painting and all that other stuff. Sorry, I just shaved, so I'm an itchy bitch. Um, <laughs> group four. Now with the four of swords, I have a feeling that there is a need for you to pull back a little bit and and give yourself a little bit of rest. Um, other than that, um, I feel like. Perhaps you might be juggling with two women in your life and or two women are vying for your attention or two men are vying for your attention, either an air sign and an earth sign or vice versa or perhaps you're an air sign and they're earth sign or vice versa. But um, this could be a lesbian relationship, who knows, or a gay relationship where you're both very feminine, very feminine energies. But um. I have a feeling that you need to be very compassionate. That's not about two people. It's going to be about you having to be very compassionate and emulating your queen of pentacles as well as emulating the clear, concise, 
complex, perceptive, analytical, tactful, cut through the bullshit type of energy of the Queen of Swords, okay? So that's what I'm getting for group four so far. Let's go to what you are manifesting into your life, group four. I have a feeling this is gonna be a very large reading, group four. To my dismay. <laughs> I am so tired already. I don't even know why. Anytime I do these readings, I feel so drained. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we have the five of pentacles. You are attracting love, girlfriend, or boyfriend. Whoever is watching this right now, you are attracting love, okay? I got it from the beginning of the reading. I kept on hearing spirits say, somebody's coming, somebody's coming, and it's gonna be a love, okay? They're offering love love to you before let's see who's coming who's coming who is group four manifesting what is group four manifesting into their life general reading let's get what group four is manifesting into their life please seven of chalices <clears throat> gonna get a wave of different things coming into your life many opportunities but not all that glitters is gold no no i'm not getting that that's what you needed or perhaps no no, no. that's just mine what's coming for group four spirit please tell me what is coming for group four that you are attracting love into your life you are also attracting very many opportunities as well okay but not all that glitters is gold you can make very many decisions that will not be good for you so you have to be aware you have to meditate on your actions that you're going to choose all right this is time to be tactful a time to be analytical this is a time to be thoughtful about the processes or the steps that you're going to take next with the four of pentacles i have a feeling that there's going to be very much you're going to need to be grounded guarded you're going to need to be frugal with your money um frugal with materialistic things because there are going to probably be people that are going to come to your life that want to come to be straight up with you use you for your money or your materialistic you know whatever materials you have don't allow people to use you for your money people are not always nice You'll find that out the hard way if you haven't already, um, but that's how life is. So make sure you're keeping an eye on the people who you are allowing in your life. The two of chalices calls for emotional balance, the yin and yang. So I feel like you're attracting emotional balance in your life as well. However, I feel like within the next few weeks, this came out sideways. This is the eight of wands, so this means like, you know, fast moving opportunities coming in coming in and coming in but i have a feeling that within the next few weeks it's like there's gonna be days where there's a lot of opportunities coming in and then there's gonna be days where there's nothing so i have a feeling like it's gonna be in and out it's gonna be like opportunities here no opportunities opportunities here op no opportunities opportunities here no opportunities you know what i'm saying you get what i'm saying it's gonna be coming in it's gonna be coming out and then you have the hanged man the hangman means just go with the flow. It means not to grasp onto control too tightly because fate has taken the wheel and has chosen to lead you down the right path, all right? So as long as you're leaving it to fate, nothing can or will go wrong, all right? So allow fate to take control. I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck to see what's going on. I have a feeling, just have a feeling, that you might be attracting an emperor type or a, a knight of pentacles type 
into your life, or probably both. Probably they're one and the same. Who knows? The Emperor is a very compassionate, wise person. He is the king of all kings. He has all the aspects of all the other kings within the minor arcana. And um, perhaps this person wants to come with you, come to you with a love offering. However, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. So, if you are waiting for somebody to give you an offer, I have a feeling if it's two different people, it's gonna be the Emperor first, and or if it's the Emperor and the, the Knight, Knight of Pentacles is the person who is the Emperor, they haven't turned into the Emperor yet, but they will eventually. So you're gonna keep on having to wait for them, all right? That's what I'm getting for what you're attracting so far with the manifestation. Um, <clears throat> Let us go into the good tarot and see what kind of guidance I can give you so far. What can the good tarot give you as far as guidance goes? Can I get some guidance for group four, please? Group four guidance, please. Group four guidance. Okay, 10 of water. Be happy. If you are happy right now, it's saying there is no problem with being happy. Oh my goodness. And then I just saw the chariot. Come on now, spirit. Uh, can you hold that card? straight to that card as soon as I started to open up these cards and it just stuck to it and it's not even because of what it said on it it was just because of the image I saw the, the line and everything um but I'm gonna choose one more card just in case favorite reading because it sounds very Sagittarian <laughs> in nature because it sounds like my life up and down back and forth fast and not fast all right um now when I look at these cards I have a feeling that it is okay to be happy perhaps you feel like maybe it's a little mean to be happy when everybody around you is miserable but I'm saying that no your happiness is going to be contagious, so continue being happy. I have a feeling you're generally a very happy person in general. You could be a Cancer, you could be a Leo, or you could be Pisces, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Aquarius. I don't know why I said Aquarius. You could be any sign. Let's put it this way. But um, I'm seeing big water sign, big fire sign energy. Um, with the chariot, I have a feeling that you're gonna have to go out and get what you want. So willpower is needed. Um, you're gonna need some motivation. So uh, right now, it's spirit is calling upon you to motivate yourself. Allow yourself to let love in, because you have the love card here. I have a feeling that you're gonna get some love offerings soon. Allow yourself to let the love in. People are gonna wanna love you. The Fool card means that there's gonna be so many opportunities available to you. You can go anywhere from here, okay? This is the start of a new adventure. This is your, the beginning of the rest of your life, so to speak. So allow it to come to fruition. Allow yourself to be the Fool. Allow yourself to experience new things and allow yourself to let love in, all right? I'm getting that message loud and clear. Let us choose some cards for your financial situation and see what's going on. Can I get some cards for the financial situation of group four, please? Group four's financial situation, white cat tarot. Can I get some group four financial situation, please? Financial situation for group four, please. White cat tarot deck. You got the Queen of Chalices, financial situation. Keep on hearing non 
nonprofit organization. Perhaps you work for a nonprofit organization. Can I get one card at a time, please, spirits? For group four. Here we go. That, if that wasn't them choosing a card for you, then I don't know what is. So, you have the Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, Anxiety. Finances are causing you anxiety. However, they're also causing you to be compassionate, more compassionate in life in general. Um, perhaps there's a water sign who wants to offer you help. I also see the lovers. Perhaps you have met somebody who is an oh. I have a feeling that your love life and your finances are very tied together. I'm not saying that you have a sugar daddy or a sugar mommy or anything like that, but I have a feeling that you have met somebody or perhaps you have a business with a spouse and perhaps it's making it a little bit more chaotic because you don't want to fail them, they don't want to fail you, or perhaps your business is not doing so great or whatever. Whew. So many groups have gotten the Seven of Chalices so far, the Not All That Glitters is Gold card, but you have so many choices available, so choose wisely card, that's what I call it, because you honestly have so many choices available, you have to choose wisely with your, your um, finances. You have the Lovers, so that's like the Choice card, um, <clears throat> since this is the Finances reading. I'm not going to read it as the lovers. I'm going to read it as the choice. Like, you have so many choices right now. You have to create... You have to make the right decision. Um, the queen is very compassionate. She's emotional. So, I feel like with this... Um, with these cards, I feel like your emotional... Whatever it is, your... Whatever it is that makes us feel emotional. Whatever it is that makes us feel, you know... Ooh, that, that gut feeling. That's what I'm looking for. That gut feeling, you need to follow it with this. Because even though it's causing you a lot of, like, restless, sleepless nights, it's it's still going to um, lead you in the right direction. You also got the Wheel of Fortune. So, you need to allow your gut feeling, your gut instincts to guide you during this path. I have a feeling that you're not listening to your gut instinct and you keep on making the wrong decisions and this is giving you anxiety because you keep on making maybe not the worst decisions, but you're making decisions that aren't really all that great and you keep on ending up back at square one. You're like, what the hell? I thought I figured this out already. What's going on? So I have a feeling that you have to follow your gut instinct and go with your gut. Um, you do have many choices, but you have a major choice that you have to make. But not all that glitters is gold. So you, use, you have to analyze your situation, use tact, and be very perceptive, calm, and complex with your reasoning. Be logical. Use your divine masculine energies to be very logical about your situation. And even if you make the wrong decision now, I have a feeling that everything's going to go in your favor because you have the Wheel of Fortune card. Because once that comes out, that means... Fate has taken the wheel, and good things are going to come. What goes down, goes back up. What goes up, goes back down. You know, it's the up and down card. Things are not going to always be up and up all the time. So, we need, we need our downs in order to appreciate the ups. Now, getting to the final part of our reading, and my favorite part, the love reading. Let's see the romance reading for group four. <clears throat> Can I get some romance readings for group four, please? We have the Ten of Water. Yes. That is the Emotional Abundance card. We have the Two of Fire. We have the King of Water. We have the Seven of Earth. Let's get one more card. Okay. We have the Ace of Fire. Okay. <clears throat> Put in the order that we got it in. So, let's choose our angel, our romance angel cards, and then we'll get started on your final your romance. Well, 
again. She's amazing. I love that card. Sorry, I'm just a little uh, tired. Oh my goodness. It's hilarious. You've got let your friends help you in reverse, so your friends are not going to help you very well. You have reconciliation. So many reconciliations going on here, guys. I don't even know what's going on. Choose one more card, group four, because four is one of my lucky numbers. Let's see. Come on, romance angels. Give me one more card, group four, please. One more card, group four. Screw it. We got three more cards in group four. Yeah, three more cards. Felt like four for a second. Oh, it was. <laughs> we had sex with each other. Okay, so we have... Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. A wedding is coming very soon with a honeymoon and a reconciliation with your true love. Do not let your friends help you because usually when you let your friends help you, that's when you create even more of a mess. Okay, so that's what you got from your love angels. <laughs> the romance angels. All right. Um, that was very quick and simple, but we're going to leave that there. Um, now, back to the nitty gritty of the situation. I have a feeling that you're going to be very, you're already very emotionally abundant. You're a very happy person. I have a feeling you might be a water sign or a fire sign, um, but you could be any sign, okay? Um, <clears throat> but you emulate these water, fire sign qualities. Um... You're naturally very emotionally abundant. You're a very happy person. There's a king of water who has his eye on you. And this person is, I feel like he's watching you from afar, but he's so compassionate. He just wants to love you. He wants to show you all the beautiful things in life. He is emotionally mature. He's an emotionally mature man. He's very handsome. He's very well counted and put together. And he just wants to love you. Now, this could be a Scorpio, but it could be a Pisces or Cancer, too, all right? Or if it's not any of those signs, it's just a very watery, emulating person, okay? Now, this person, Seven of Earth, they want to work at, at this relationship with you, okay? They want to put, it, put the work in, basically. They want to put the work in so that they can grow something with you, okay? The Two of Fire is... <laughs> To them, to them, you are a spectacle. I don't know if you can see it, but these, there's these two women with their, their legs wide open, posing with their vaginas out for a camera. <laughs> I have a feeling this person wants to just... I got this for like the first reading. I have a feeling this person's a very dirty person. When they think of you, they just want to see you play with yourself. <laughs> And they just want to admire you because they think you are so gorgeous that they just want to see you touch yourself because it turns them on. They want to take a huge chunk of your heart. They want to start over again. They want to give you a brand new love, okay? So with this Ace of Fire, I have a feeling that they want to come back and offer something brand new, okay? It's going to be like something, a brand new beginning, something totally new, but with the a, a person that you already know, or somebody you're going to reconcile with. It doesn't have to be somebody that I'm hearing from spirit that they're telling me. It doesn't have to be somebody that you had a relationship with in the past. It could have been somebody that was like an unrequited love for you or vice versa. Maybe they were unrequited love for you, for them. You were unrequited love for them. But now that they, <clears throat> they've taken time apart, they're having some sort of energies that are returning to them that are, are telling them that oh wow this is really the person that i love and i didn't realize it because i was so dumb you know and maybe if they just want to come back but i have a feeling that there's going to be a reconciliation for you and you know what <laughs> this is amazing to me you guys had an amazing read so i'm just gonna leave it at that group four i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please click the little wiggly bell icon to get future notifications of my readings um also like and subscribe leave a comment if you will i love comments i love reading what you guys have to say thank you so much have a great night great morning blah 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 all this that and that love light and blessings namaste
Take care.